Hi guys, so today we are starting a lipstick declutter. So we have many colors to get through here. I've tried to divide them up by color family. So we're gonna be looking at light nudes, mid-tone nudes, then we're gonna look at pinks and corals, then we're gonna look at more mauves and purples. We've got a reds and oranges category and a berries and vampy. I feel like this is the only way for me to really evaluate my collection. I need to get rid of quite a few lipsticks. I've been testing a ton of things. I know I have a ton of duplicate colors and I really want to have my lipsticks be more edited and just full of things that I absolutely love. So real quickly, because I haven't addressed this in every video, but because we're starting a new series for lip products, I did want to kind of talk about what my approach is going to be for what I'm keeping versus getting rid of. If a product has expired or has gone off, I'm obviously going to throw it away and that will be it. If it is something that I'm getting rid of that I just don't want anymore, I will give friends and family a chance to take any of these things that they want. If at the end of the day, they aren't interested in any of the lipsticks, bulleted products, things that can be sanitized, these will be going to Project Beauty Share. I will link that organization down below if you're curious about how it works and how you too can donate gently used makeup products to them. As it relates to products like this who have a wand inside of them like lip glosses and liquid lipsticks, there is no way to sanitize these unfortunately. So if it's a shade that's not gonna work or a formula I just don't want anymore, unfortunately I'm going to have to throw these away unless friends and family want them. There's just no great way to sanitize a product like this so it can't be donated in any way, shape or form. So that's kind of the three buckets that these products are going to fall into. Let's go ahead and lay all of these out. We're gonna look at them by color and also formula. So I'm gonna try and organize these and then we will get to swatching. All right guys, so here are all of my lighter nude lipsticks. We have a little pile off to the side with liquid or liquefied lipsticks. We will talk about those here in just a second separately, but I wanted to focus on just regular lipsticks first. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I know these formulas pretty well. So I think I'm going to grab out all the sheer ones first and just pull them out and swatch those and make some decisions on what I want to keep. So one that I know is a sheer, this is from Tarte. This is Park Avenue Princess. I don't even know if they have this anymore. It's kind of in cardboard packaging. It is a very light nude color. It is pretty. It's got a nice pink undertone, very sheer, it has a nice minty scent to it. It's definitely a comfortable lip product for sure. What else? Uh, this, so this is from Maybelline. This is the shade Nude Lust. This is a sheer from them. That one still smells pretty good. It is very similar to Park Avenue, maybe slightly more pigmented than Tarte's Park Avenue or Princess. This is another sheer. This is one of the L'Oreal um, Color Riche Shine lipsticks. This is the shade Shimmering Peach. This one is very pale, but it's a really pretty pink shade. I do feel like I need to wear this one over a bit of a lip liner because it can be a little patchy as I recall. Yeah, I just tried this one on and it's a little milky and not really a color that looks great. I remember having to put this over top of things. Um, I have other shades in this formula that I definitely like, but this one just is a little milky. So I do think I'm gonna go ahead and pass this guy on. Um, this little one from Julep, this is the shade Macaroon. Um, this, I don't even know if they make anymore. This is their sheer lip butters. This one is more nude than these two. These are definitely a little more pinky. This is definitely more brown undertone. This is very sheer, almost like a chapstick. It's very comfortable. The packaging is really pretty. I do like this one. Then the last one I think is kind of sheer. This is the Revlon HD in HD Sand. I really did like these Revlon ones. I kept rid of several colors before, but I kept this one because I thought it was a really pretty peachy nude. And I think that is the end of sheer ones. So let me just try this one because this Tarte Harmony Lip Surgeons may actually be sheer. Yeah, it's sheerish. It's pinky. In general though, I don't know as if I need all of these. So let's make a couple of quick selections. I think I wanna keep this Revlon one, which is right here. I also think I wanna keep this Maybelline one that is here. I think I'm gonna pass on this Park Avenue Princess one. It's just very similar. And I think I like the Maybelline one a smidge more. This Tarte one, I feel like I've got other shades similar to this. So I'm gonna pass this guy on as well. This one here is just very, very sheer. And when I put it on my lips just a second ago, it didn't feel like I was seeing hardly anything at all. So I don't think I'm gonna miss this one. I feel like I've got two sort of sheer nudes here that are that work for me and I think I can pass on the other ones. All right, so this is where it's gonna get a little harder because I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna best match up and look for dupes 
dupes, I may just have to start swatching. But before I do that, let me get rid of a couple that as I'm looking down here, I feel like I don't really love and or need or want. This is from CoverGirl. This is their Demi Matte in Streaker. I just, I don't care for this formula to be honest. It doesn't really have a scent to it. The color is a pretty like nudie color. I really do like the color of this one, but I just, I don't care for the feeling of this. There's some sort of like grittiness almost to the, these CoverGirl lipsticks that I just don't care for. So I know I can pass this guy on. I also think I'm gonna pass this on. This is the iconic matte lipstick from Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade Chauffeur. This is very thick and kind of tuggy at my lips. Uh, it's a more cool toned color. The color was fine, not my favorite color, but I just felt like it was, like I said, tugging. So I know I can pass that on and not miss it. Another one that I know I can pass on is this little mini Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar Lipstick. I got the little set and I really did not like this one. It really was chalky and weird on my lips, emphasized lip lines, just did not look good on me. So I'm gonna pass this guy along. I also think I'm gonna pass on this little mini sample of the Hourglass Lip Stilo. This is in the shade Peacemaker. It's a fine color, but I'm just not reaching for this little mini sample-y thing. And I feel like I've got the shade probably replicated 10 times over in this collection. All right, so for the rest of these, I think what I'm gonna do is try and swatch warmer nudes on one side of my wrist and cooler nudes on the other. And that way we can compare as we go. So let's start with this. This is Flower Beauty Naked Blush. Love this formula. Highly doubt I'm ever getting rid of this really pretty pinky nude there. This is from Essence. This is matte, 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 zero, or in zero one. This is a little bit brighter and a little let more corally shade. This is a nude stick. This is a magnetic matte lip color in Blossom. I don't care for the magnetic matte a ton. Um, I know a lot of people really like it. I feel like this is a very cool toned shade, which I can wear cool tones sometimes, but these kinds of nudes have a tendency to wash me out. So I do think I'm gonna pass this along. This is from Bite. This is the shade Sable. I feel like I've had this for like three or four years at this point. So I feel like I'm gonna find this shade replicated many times over. So I do think I'm gonna pass this on as well. This is also from Bite. This is one of their matte creams in the shade Amaretto. And that one is a little bit more neutral color, a little less warm. That's that's nice, I like that. This is from Sephora. This is her their contour and color pencil. This is in the shade Light Nude. So you've got the pencil on one end and then kind of a matching lip pencil on this end. It's a pretty formula, but I don't even think you can get these anymore. It looks very similar to the bite shade that was just below, so I'm, I can pass this. This is a ColourPop Lipsy Stick in the shade Aquarius. I do like this one. It is more, um, I would say, of a warm brownish nude color. Um, I do like Aquarius though quite a bit, so I do want to keep that. I already know that. This is the CYO Lipstick and Liner in the shade Rainmaker. This one is a little more sheer. Oh, that's right. It was very balmy and comfortable, but then you could put the lip liner underneath and it actually was very similar color, but helped it to last longer. I like this. I really liked that from my collect. Um, this is one of those hourglass, what did they call these? I can't remember. It looks like a cigarette case. Like it's way overpriced for what it is. I got the shade. Oh, I got the shade I want is a very brownish nude, if I recall. I mean, it's a nice formula, don't get me wrong. I feel like I'm not gonna get rid of this because I paid so much money for it, but I wouldn't recommend you go out and get those by any stretch of the imagination. This is from Fiona Styles. This is one of her Color Impact Matte Crayons in the shade Rockway. This is a Revlon Color Charge in the shade Blank Canvas. This one I remember was a little too orange and a little patchy on me, so I'm gonna pass that on. This is another Revlon in Bare Fair. Maybe a little more pink and a little less apricot. Uh, this is MAC, this is Pure Zen. It is a cream sheen, it is very light. This is one that I absolutely have to pair over top of something or it's just way, way, way too pale on me. These are my two Bite Light lipsticks. So this is Sugarcane, which is pinker. I think this is gonna be different than what I have. Yep, definitely more cool toned. And then this is Meringue, which is a little more warm toned. 
And then this is the Hourglass um, Lip Stilo in Influencer, which is definitely more of a brownie nude. All right, let's keep going. This is the Beauty and the Beast from Lorac in True Beauty. This one actually has a little bit of a frost to it. It's a very light, almost pinky shade with a gold, slight gold shift to it. It's actually really pretty on. These two are my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. So this is Kim KW. This one is too light for me to wear on its own. I have to put a darker lip liner underneath. It's very, very, very fair. It actually reminds me a lot of this pure Zen shade from MAC. I'm gonna put it by there. And then this is the shade Bitch Perfect, which is deeper but still kind of that nice warm undertone to it. This is a NYX Matte Lip Cream in Honeymoon. Very popular color, a little more cool toned of a nude. This is from, gosh, I don't remember what brand this is. It's a Korean beauty brand. It might be Etude House. Um, I can't read it, it is in Korean. Uh, this is a very peachy, well, this is a very almost light peach coral color. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see, keep going. Uh, these two are from Lorac. These were part of a holiday kit. So this is Duchess and Working Girl. So Duchess is a little rosier and a little mauver. And Working Girl is a lot more fair and light. I'll try Working Girl on. I feel like that might be too light. Yeah, I just tried this on. It is way too light. It gives me concealer lips. So this one I can definitely pass along. Okay, so that shade in the Lorac one that didn't work for me prompted me to try on Kim KW again from Charlotte Tilbury as well as this Pure Zen shade from MAC because these very light colors like that, I was worried they were going to wash me out. Um, and I just hadn't worn Kim KW in a while. And now that I wear it, I've put it on. It's just, it's not my favorite on me. Um, I feel like there's probably some skin tones that can pull off these super pale nudes. I just, I'm not sure that this one is one that I'm loving. This cream sheen though from MAC, I feel like it works. Even though the undertone is very similar because this is a sheer lipstick, some of my natural lip color pokes through. And so this one I actually find to be wearable and actually looks really good over different lip liners and very hydrating. So I also think I may pass on my very first Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I never thought I would say that. I'm gonna give it to a friend and see if she enjoys it, but I do think I'm gonna keep the MAC Cream Sheen one. All right, let's keep going here. This is a Tarte Lip Sculptor. This is in the shade VIP, it has a gloss on one end and a lipstick on the other. I do like this formula. I feel like I have not been reaching for these, but I feel like I still, really do enjoy this combo. It doesn't smell like it's gone off, doesn't have any weird growth. So I'm I'm leaning towards keeping that. These next four are all Rimmel Kate lipsticks. So this is my nude. This was, I think, limited edition actually. It's definitely more warm. This is 45 in the permanent collection. More pale, 42. And then this is Airy Fairy, which has a slight shift to it, but it's a really pinky, pretty undertone. I know I love Airy Fairy and want to keep it. We'll swatch it against some other things here in a second. This is from number seven. This is the shade Honey Bloom. I am totally running out of arm space. That is a really pretty color. And um, let's grab this one. This is from CYO. This is the shade Living Together. This may start to look like everything else on my arm. And then these last two are ColourPop Luxe Lipstick, so this is Uno Moss. If I remember correctly, it was quite warm. Yeah, it's almost peach. And then this is the shade Tiptoe, which is more of a pinky brown color. Okay, so I've gone through and I've swatched all of these. We've talked about formulas. These are ones where at least like the formula and I think the color would work for me. At this point, I'm going to go um, offline. I'm going to re-swatch these. I'm going to come back and hopefully have super light colors next to each other. And then we will make some decisions about what to keep and what to get rid of. So I've tried to organize these by color family as best as I can. So this first little swatch collection here are all of the more pink pinky toned ones here. This is actually a collection where I feel like I have not a lot of similarities. I feel like these are all looking fairly different from one another. So this is Bite in Sugarcane. This is number 45 from Rimmel. This is Duchess from Lorac. This is the Beauty and the Beast True Beauty Shade. This is Airy Fairy. 
And then finally at the end is NYX Soft Matte in Honeymoon. If I was gonna do anything, I feel like Airy Fairy and the Beauty and the Beast shade are probably the most similar, but this one's got a little bit more peach to it and pink. I honestly don't feel too bad about keeping all six of these, to be honest, because I feel like um, these are all fairly different. I feel like we're gonna start seeing a lot more similarities in these other groups. So all six of these are gonna stay. Okay, so here is a good example of where all the shades start looking really freaking similar to one another. So this one here is from Tarte. I forgot to mention this one earlier. This is one of their Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks, beautiful blue marbly packaging. This is the shade Beach Babe here. Um, this one I think is just a little too light for me, so I do think I'm gonna pass this guy on. These two here are actually both ColourPop, and they look almost identical to each other. So this is Aquarius, and then in the Lippy Stick formula, and then this is the Luxe Lipstick in Tiptoe. I feel like those are so freaking similar to each other that I don't need both of them, and I feel like I like the Lippy Stick formula honestly, in most cases, better than the Luxe Lip formula. I don't know, I just, I, I'm not warmed to this formula. I don't hate it, but it's not like blowing me away the way that I love the lippy stick one. I don't know what it is. I can't figure it out. But those two shades are almost exactly the same, so I am gonna pass on this one. This shade down here that is the darkest, this is the shade I want from Hourglass. I do feel like this one's just a hint darker than the rest of these, so I'm gonna keep this. These last five, I feel like I don't need all of them. I feel like they are so freaking similar to one another. This one is slightly warmer than the rest. In fact, I wonder if I should compare this to the rest of my warm shades over here. This collection was supposed to be more of my true neutrals. I've got more warmy tone shades over here here. I'm going to move that over there. And then of these three or of these four that are left, um, I think I'm going to keep two. So I'm going to keep Hourglass. Um, just, I, I paid a ton of money for it. I do like the formula. It's really comfortable. The rest of these are all creamy lipsticks that all look really freaking similar to one another. So I do think I'm going to finally pass on 24 or 42 from Rimmel. And then I'm left with two, I'm left with the number seven, and I'm left with the Revlon one. Um, I'm gonna pass on the number seven one. I'm, I'm not gonna miss it. Guys, I don't need this. I don't, I don't. I have, I just, I just kept like several shades that were all just like this. This one's gonna go too. Okay guys, so I've kind of sorted into what I wanna keep versus not keep. This first shade here is from Charlotte Tilbury. It is bitch perfect. I am going to keep it. I am gonna pass this shade on. This is from ColourPop. It is the shade Uno Moss. I just feel like it's always too orangey on me and I don't care for the undertone. I like the undertone of this shade much better. It's Flower Beauty Naked Blush, so that one is gonna stay. The Tarte Lip Sculptor in VIP is also going to stay. I very much enjoy that. The Rimmel Kate Lipstick in My Nude 55 is pretty, but I think I'm gonna pass it on. I just, now that I'm looking at it next to all of these, I don't think I need it. And then this Sheer Lipstick from Etude House, very sheer, warm, Keeping another sheer one here in a minute, so I don't feel like I need it. Um, this here is number 10 in the matte, matte, matte line. I do love this formula, but I feel like mine has melted and it's breaking off, and so the whole lipstick is loose and it's smashing against the side. So um, I do think I'm gonna just chuck this one. I think it's just falling apart on me. The next shade here is from Bite. This is the shade Meringue, one of my favorite nudes, so I am keeping that. I am gonna pass on this next shade. This is the CYO shade in Living Together. I just I don't know, it feels like, it looks like a lot of other things. I'm not like gaga for it. The next shade though is from Bite. This is the matte lip pencil in Meringue. I think this is really pretty, so I am gonna hang on to it. This shade here is the Fiona Styles matte lip crayon in Rockway. I think it looks a lot like the Bite Meringue shades. I don't feel like I need both of them, so I'm gonna pass her one, hers on. And then I'm gonna keep this little CYO lipstick and liner. This is the sheer sort of lipstick side. I do really enjoy this and I like having a sheer formula. Um, so that kind of wraps us up for bulleted cream lipsticks. We have a pile of some liquid lipsticks we need to look at next and then we can do some totally. All right guys, so here are all of my liquid lipsticks, liquefied lipsticks, kind of all of those kinds of formulas. Anything that's not a true gloss, we are gonna tackle glosses as its own video separately. Um, so we're just gonna go from least matte to most matte. Up first, these are the NARS Velvet Lip Glides. This is the shade Unlaced. It is very, very pale, um, probably too pale for my 
lips without a liner underneath but it is such a wonderful formula. I've held on to it because I love it. Um, this is the shade Suck, which came out, I think it might have been limited edition, but it was just a little bit deeper and a little bit peachier, and I felt like it was just a lot more flattering on my lips. So this is crazy to say, but I do think I'm going to pass on the first one to a friend and keep the second one Suck. This is one of the Bite Liquefied Amuse Boost Lipsticks. This is in the shade Whip. Um, the color is okay. It's a little more of a brownie nude. Um, to be honest, I just never fell in love with this formula. Um, it's kind of a, like a lip lacquer and it always felt very heavy and kind of sticky on my lips. I don't know, I just, I wanted to love this because I love Bite so much, but it just isn't my favorite. So I do think I'm gonna pass this on to a friend. Next up we have some ColourPop Ultra Satins. I do not have any of the um, Ultra Matte. I don't care for it at all. Um, so this is the shade Alyssa. This was a Kathleen Lights collab. And it's a cooler sort of pinky toned nude. This is the shade Aquarius, so another Kathleen Lights color. And this is the shade Little Stitious, which is a really sort of pale, dusty nude. This is a Bare Minerals Gin Nude Matte Lipstick in the shade Infamous. I do like this formula, it's moussey. It's maybe not the most long lasting lipstick out there, but it's but it definitely makes up for it because it is super comfortable. That's a very similar shade to the shade Suck, but these are very different formulas, so I don't feel bad about keeping those. Um, and then this is the last sort of moussey lipstick that I have. This is in the shade Ultimate Apricot. This is from Julep. It is one of their mousse shades. I do like this formula. I think I prefer the Gen Nude one just a smidge more, but it is a really nice formula from Julep. Um, those two shades look really similar. All right, so let's just recap these a little bit and decide what we wanna keep. Um, I do think I wanna keep the Alicia shade down here. I feel like it's a more flattering shade than Little Stitious. I also feel like Little Stitious might be going off, like it's separating and doing some weird things in the container there. So I think it's time to get rid of Little Stitious. It is one of my oldest um, color pop ultra satins. So I do think I can pass that along rather throw it out. I do think I'm going to keep Alyssa and I think I'm going to keep Aquarius. I think those are different enough colors. So I do want to keep those. These two here are very similar formulas. So when I look at the undertones of both of those, I actually think I like the julep one, which is just a smidge darker, a little bit better than this one, which is a little more apricot from Bare Minerals. So I do think I'm gonna keep Ultimate Apricot and Julep and pass on the shade Infamous. These are true matte liquid lipsticks. So this is from Smashbox. This is, is the always on liquid lipstick in Fair Game. I thought this was going to be my perfect nude. And I tried to make it work. I didn't care for it. I'm gonna pass this on to a friend. These are Jouer liquid lipsticks and I feel like these have dried out on me. I, maybe not all of them, we'll have to see. So this is Dolce de Leche and this is Melon. Dolce de Leche is a little cooler and this is Melon. I don't think these have gone off. Uh, I think I've got some other ones that are more dried out than these. Um, so I think these two are still okay from a formula perspective, but these two shades are really freaking similar to one another. This one's just more cool toned and this one's a little bit more maybe warm to neutral. So I do think I'm gonna keep the shade Melon. I know this is one of my favorite shades, um, liquid lipsticks, and I did like this Jouer formula. I think I'm gonna pass on Dolce de Leche. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the shade Bombshell. This is a very warm nude on me, if I remember correctly. And I like this formula. I just have to be very careful with it because it's so liquidy. It has a tendency to like spray out colors. But now that I look at this, this is a little deeper and darker than some of the other ones I've kept. I do want to compare it against these Maybelline Super Stays. So this is the shade Loyalist. This was the first and really only matte they first came out with. Uh, let's swatch this here. And then next up is Poet. This is part of their spring collection. They did more nudes. 
Those are really similar. Okay, so those are similar but different. I feel like these undertones I have, now these are freaking bulletproof. You put them on and they do not budge. Um, but now that I see these two, it's funny. Um, in the container, you would think this one was a lot lighter than this one, but in reality, this one's more neutral and this is more um, apricot colored. Yeah, I'm just not ready to pass with these yet. I really do think this is the most bulletproof formula that I have. Will last all freaking day without fail. Um, yeah, so I'm not ready to pass on either one of these. And I think the undertone is a little different. And then this Huda one, um, I also think is different than some of these other shades that I have on my arm. So I'm gonna keep that as well. Okay guys, so here is what I am keeping and here is what I'm getting rid of. If it looks like my getting rid of bin has more lipsticks in it, you would be correct. So I am keeping 26 and I am getting rid of 31. So that is 54% of my Light Nudes collection. So still obviously a lot of lipsticks. Now there's different formulas and textures and finishes in here. So I also feel like I've got the finishes that I want. I love all these products. I feel like I've gotten rid of duplicates and shades that just don't look right on me that I've been hanging on to for whatever reason. So I am feeling really good about this. I'm going to sort through the bin, throw away the products that's gone off, set some things aside for friends and family, and then throw the rest of these in the donation bin. So we can continue on with my other lipstick colors in a similar fashion. I will be feeling really good about life. I will say the mid-tones nude section, like Brace for a Doozy, if you think this is a lot of lipsticks, you should see that bin. It is absolutely full to overflowing. I clearly have a problem with real mid-toned to deeper nudes. It's it's an issue. Like I'll own it. It's the shade that I buy over and over and over again. So, but if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. Keep yourself subscribed so that you don't miss out on all my future declutters. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite nude shade is. Do you like lighter nudes? Do you wear deeper ones? What's your favorite kind of formula? Absolutely love hearing your favorite products. So look forward to talking to you in a future video. Bye-bye.